family schoolhouse in today's video I'm going to be doing a homeschool q and I asked many of you friends on Instagram if you had any questions about homeschool so I'm going to be answering those questions on this channel today so grab your coffee I tend to get a little chatty with these um, if you're new to my channel first of all welcome my name is Gabby and I have three kiddos I am currently homeschooling one she's my only child who is um, of schooling age so the plan is to homeschool the other two as well when they are older but today um, oh and I should tell you we this is our third year of homeschooling so we kind of I feel like at this point know what we're doing we have we've kind of um, gained our footing and I feel really comfortable in um, my role as both parent and teacher so um, I'm happy to answer any questions that I can and if I don't know the answer I will certainly try to point you in the right direction so I would encourage you to grab your coffee I'm gonna go grab mine because why not and I will be right back and then we'll get started okay so, I don't want to be rude, but I'm going to have to look down at my phone every now and again to look up the questions. So the first question is, how many hours does she do schoolwork a day? Um, so basically, how many hours a day do we homeschool? So we school Monday through Thursday. We take Fridays, not off, but we use Friday for like a reading morning or field trips or um, just anything kind of just less structured um, but we seem to be gravitating more towards using Fridays for like laying on the couch and reading together um, for like hours which is really really nice or field trips so and then sometimes also she will spend Vivian will spend Fridays with my mom so Fridays are not they're not super structured at all the days that we do homeschool Monday through Thursday we typically start at about 9 30 or 10 and then go until <clears throat> I would say two, sometimes three, just depending on how much work we have to get done. And if we don't have a ton of work that day, sometimes we can get done as early as 12. Like we can get it done pretty darn quick if we don't have a lot of distractions. So it really just varies depending on um, the work we're doing for the day. And we don't do the same work every single day. So that's why there's the time variance. And then someone else to follow with that question asks, do you do it five times a week? No, we only homeschool four days a week. Oh my gosh, I'm actually seeing that a lot of people asked how many hours we homeschool. Um, the next person asked what curriculum did you follow for a preschooler so I don't have a lot of experience in homeschooling preschool per se because Vivian was in a private preschool for um, until she was let's see I think it, she was two going into three um, so she was in preschool for a full year before we decided to pull her and I do feel like she benefited from being in a private preschool around other children um, she she was a very she still is very social but I feel like that was good for her to have that experience um, and that was also hard for her to transfer from to transition from being in preschool to schooling at home because she did miss her friends but now she's used to it and she loves it and she sees her friends in different ways. So um, that was totally off topic to what you asked. But the reason that I don't have a lot of advice for preschool curriculum is because we didn't use preschool curriculum. Once we started homeschooling Vivian, she kind of just jumped right into kindergarten work at the age of um, like three. She's Vivian is advanced in many ways, um, so we kind of tailored to that. Uh, and she was really doing like kindergarten level work at age three and four. So that's kind of where we started. I will say The Good and the Beautiful does have some preschool curriculum. So if you are looking for it, you might want to check out The Good and the Beautiful. That's personally what we have used and loved um, for the three years that we have been homeschooling. Um, so that would be my suggestion, but there are so many good resources out there. And preschool curriculum, don't put too much stress on it. Preschool is, meant to be fun like make sure whatever you choose is fun for your child and not super disciplined and that um, that you really use this time to instill a love of learning by making it fun and exploratory that that would be my advice so someone else asks um, what made you decide on homeschooling <sighs> oh I just spilled coffee and all my smugness um, <laughs> okay so really there were a few different things that that set us on homeschool. I will start by saying I was not the mom that set out to be a homeschooler. I was actually very anti-homeschool. I was very much of the kids need to be socialized. Parents don't, you know, parents need the break when their kids are at school. Um, just all the typical stuff that you hear from people who usually don't homeschool. 
Um, so I, I get those concerns. Sorry, there's a gnat flying around. I totally get those concerns because I have those same concerns myself. But I would say the big thing, um, if I'm being totally honest, the big thing that pushed us to homeschool was my anxiety and my worry for the safety of, then I only had one child, but the safety of my child, um, you know, you want to trust that when you send your children to school that they are going to be in the care of somebody who protects them and loves them just as hopefully you would, uh, but that's not always the case and you, it, that scared me. That thought really truly scared me. Um, I remember, I think I was pregnant with Florence, no, it was. Yeah, I was pregnant with Florence, newly pregnant with Florence, and Vivian was at school, and there was not her school, um, not even close to her school, but a school in our area. They had received um, a threat, and so all the schools were on lockdown, and it really, really freaking scared me. And I thought, you know what? Why am I putting myself through this stress and potentially putting my child in harm's way when I could just do this at home. I really truly could. I'm capable of doing it. I have the resources to do it. Why not just do it at home? Um, and that was like the, the final push. My husband and I had been talking about it for a while, but I was really kind of, um, I was a little late to the party. He was more sold on it than I was. Like he was 100% we should homeschool. Um, but I just, I, it took me that final push to really get there. I would also say, Another reason was because, kind of like I mentioned earlier, um, Vivian's super advanced and I don't want her to feel like she has to fit into a box of what's expected from other kids her age just because that's what's expected of children her age. I want to be able to tailor her learning and I want to be able to teach her about things that she's really interested in and I don't want her to feel like she's chained to a desk learning about things like, you know, science and history and um, those things are important but there is so much more to learning and education than just those um, those typical subjects you think of when you think of school so I wanted to be able to tailor her education to her and now you know I've got two other children and I want that same experience for them personally I wanted a really hands-on role in my children's education and I felt like with Vivian, with her being in preschool, I felt like I didn't have that. I didn't know what she was doing for the for the three hours that she was away from me because at the time she was so little, she couldn't communicate to me like what she was doing, who she played with during the day, what what did she learn? Like she just didn't have the ability to communicate all of that um, super clearly. And I just felt like a little lost. I'm like, here's this person who I love so much and I've been put on this earth to raise her and protect her and love her and, and, and teach her and I'm not really, getting a role in that during part of part of the day because she's with someone else who is doing those things. So I just wanted to play a more active role in her education and um, I will say that homeschooling has been one of the best decisions we have ever made for our family and I can't imagine doing anything different at this point. So that's kind of where we're at with that. So someone else asks, does each day look the same or do you just ditch it all some days? <laughs> Yeah, sometimes we do just ditch it all. I will be honest, homeschooling when I was pregnant with Eleanor was a, it was a massive struggle. I was exhausted, I was sick, I was trying to raise two tiny humans, Florence and Vivian. Um, it was really challenging and we weren't as consistent with school last year as I would have liked to have been just because of my pregnancy. Um, but this year we are back on the grind, we are um, really, we've, we were really consistent during the summer. Um, partially because my husband was home and he still is home. COVID has put him home full time and it has been such a blessing. Um, it's, it's amazing to have a partner here who not only supports our homeschool journey, but he, he's so active with the other two children so that I can focus on teaching Vivian. It's just, it's fantastic. So we've been really consistent with school throughout the summer, um, Monday through Thursday, really making sure we get in our times. So to answer your question, not every single day looks the same. So because I don't super structure I have an idea of what I'd like to get done for the day, but if we don't get that done, then sometimes our work will carry over into the next day. Um, and I'm more of the camp, I like to keep track of what we do accomplish, rather than planning out, okay, we're gonna do A, B, C, D, and G today, and then tomorrow we're gonna do da 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 da. I am more of like, okay, 
here's what we did get done. I'll list it out in my planner and then for the next day, um, I kind of have an idea of where to start and then it, same thing, I will just list out what we do get done and I keep track of things that way. And I do have like a quarter one schedule um, listed with our different subjects and what days I'd like to do those subjects, but I'm not, I'm not super rigid on this has to get done today in this time frame. Like I'm, I'm pretty lax in that way, which is very interesting because I'm very much a type A personality. Um, but sometimes you just gotta roll with it with homeschool, and that's part of the beauty of homeschool. It's like I'm not on anybody else's schedule. I know what works for us, and we're we're gonna roll with that. So someone else asked, uh, do you incorporate Bible or Christian studies into your homeschool day? So yes, we do. Um, we do incorporate Bible curriculum. We do in incorporate our faith into our homeschool. That's really important to us. A lot of the curric curriculum that we use is faith based. So we get, you know, we get to be in the in. God's Word a little bit that way, but I do also have um, a Servant's Heart Bible curriculum that I picked up at Half Price Books. We also go to church every Sunday, and um, my oldest is, she does Sunday school there. Uh, so we're, we do just prioritize being in the Word and talking about Scripture and making God the really like the forefront of our life. Um, that's very important to us. So yes, in answer to your question, we do incorporate our faith into our homeschool day. Let me sip some coffee while I while I look up the next question. Um, mm. Okay. Do we do schoolwork on the weekends? Absolutely not. No, we don't. We spend a lot of time reading on the weekends, but weekends are our playtime, our time to relax. It's a time for me to reset and and get things ready for the upcoming school week. So no, we don't we don't do schoolwork on the weekends. What's your go-to solution when all the girls want your attention at the same time? So I feel like our family is very unique in that mom and dad are both home full time. So when I'm teaching school, usually it's just Vivian and I in the schoolroom, and my husband will hang out with the younger two. Sometimes I will wear the baby um, and do school while she's napping on me or just kind of hanging out if she's being chill. Um, Florence doesn't usually come into the schoolroom a whole lot during school time unless Vivian is doing something independent and I have a, little, a few minutes to spend with Florence working on like shapes, colors, that sort of thing, um, or just playing like building blocks with her. Florence is um, two and it can be really distracting. She doesn't quite understand like, okay, this is the room where you know we do schoolwork, this is where we learn. Um, <clears throat> she doesn't understand that this isn't like a big playroom for her to just destroy when she feels like it. So fortunately my husband is home and he can take the kiddos um, while I'm doing school with Vivian most of the time. But um, when it was just me home with Florence and Vivian, it was hard, I mean it was challenging. I did my best to incorporate Florence when I could. I wore her when I needed to, um, but Vivian was younger then and she didn't require, we weren't doing as much as we're doing now. So I was a little bit more flexible about um, our schoolwork back then, but I don't know, you just kind of, Find things to distract younger children. Play-doh, um, kinetic sand, uh, coloring. Sometimes, you know, if Jamie isn't home, if very randomly if he's not home when we're doing school, sometimes I will just turn on like Blippi and Florence can watch Blippi. Um, you just kind of have to find what works and, and don't be afraid. Like, it doesn't have to look any certain way. You know, what works for my family is not necessarily going to work for the next homeschooling family. So you just, you gotta find something that works for you and, and try on different hats, try on different things that work for you guys. How do you keep your sanity? Kids, homeschool, housework, everything. I don't, I'm not a very sane person and I'm totally okay with that. I drink a lot of coffee and I have wine and I, <laughs> I have a wonderful supportive husband um, who tolerates my craziness, but I don't, I don't, I'm not sane in the slightest. I will say I utilize multiple different calendars and planners. I have a homeschool planner. I have my content calendar back here. I use the calendar on my phone to really just keep everything in check schedule wise. Um, I, I'm a very much a type A personality, so I like order, I like structure, I really thrive on those things. So I put systems in place throughout my house to make sure that I'm kind of being organized-ish in a way. I don't know, but girl, if you find a way to stay sane, please let me know because I need all the help I can get. Um, best resource tips for teaching the alphabet. Oh, I don't know if I have an answer to this one because I didn't teach the alphabet. My 
Vivian just kind of picked it up on her own and um, Florence has learned it from listening to Vivian. So I can't really take a whole lot of credit in that, in that regard. Oh my goodness, what are your top five favorite educational books for your homeschool collection? Okay, so are these books for me personally or for my children? I don't even know if I could narrow it down to five. This is what I am current, the current homeschool book that I'm reading. This is called The Brave Learner, Finding Everyday Magic in Homeschool Learning and Life, and it's by Julie Bogart, and I'll just read just a quick little bit to you. Um, parents want their children to love learning, but how do you sustain this enthusiasm amid childhood chaos? parental self-doubt, the flu, and state academic standards. The brave learner leading homeschool expert Julie Bogart distills decades of experience to show parents how to make education an exciting and enchanting experience for their kids. So that is currently the homeschool book that I am reading. Okay, I have two other books that I really want to recommend to you that I cannot locate at the moment, so I'm going to link them down below. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But, you know, in reading that question, I'm, I feel like Perhaps I have a little work to do in this department. Maybe I do need to start immersing myself a little bit more in homeschool books for myself. Um, but I'm sorry, I hope that kind of answers your question a little bit. I at least have one recommendation, two more down in the description box, but um, I would highly recommend checking out this book. Okay, I think that is all the time I have for today. So thank you to those of you who submitted questions. And if I didn't get to your questions and you have other homeschool questions, please make sure that you enter them in the comments down below or send them to me on Instagram. And maybe um, next month, maybe I can do another one of these if you guys are interested. And I will see you in the next video video, please make sure that you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!